My name is Tony Bruni. I'm a neuro-ophthalmologist at Memorial Healthcare Institute for Neuroscience in Owasso, Michigan. Transient vision loss is the blurring or loss of vision in one or both eyes that resolves spontaneously. These episodes may be as brief as seconds or may last longer. Several details of an event of transient vision loss can be helpful in determining a cause, including the number and duration of episodes, if one or both eyes were involved, or if a particular part of the vision, such as the left or right side or top or bottom, were involved. Associated pain or other neurological symptoms, such as numbness, weakness, or speech changes may also be important. A history of migraine or vascular disease, such as stroke or heart attack, may also be important. There are several causes of transient vision loss, including vascular events, such as amaurosis fugax, which is a transient loss of blood supply to the retina, or TIAs or mini strokes, which are similar events in the brain. Migraine is a common cause of transient vision loss, even in the absence of pain, and swelling of the optic nerve can also cause episodes of transient vision loss, regardless of the underlying cause of swelling. Even after it seems that vision has returned to normal, it is important to have an eye exam to look for evidence of the underlying cause. Visual fields can be done to assess for pieces of the vision that may still be affected, but can go unnoticed by patients. A doctor may order imaging of the brain and or blood vessels to look for the underlying cause or to assess for the risk of recurrence. Blood tests and or heart testing may be required in some cases. With such a wide range of causes of transient vision loss, the treatment approaches are also varied. No treatment may be necessary for rare migraineous vision change or a medication or even surgery may be required to reduce the future risk of vision loss or stroke. You can find patient information brochures on transient vision loss and other neurophthalmic disorders at www.nanosweb.org patients.